deep in the heart of rural Georgia, shrouded by time and forgotten by the world. An old plantation farmhouse stands as a testament to the past. Dating back to the mid-1800s, this captivating relic once belonged to Mr. Omer Jones, a man who raised his family within its walls and filled it with laughter and memories. Over a decade ago, the last owner, Mr. Jones, moved to Florida, closer to embrace the family. Since then, the house remained untouched, frozen in time and its driving interior now fully furnished with echoes of a bygone era. One thing that stands out in this farmhouse is the grand piano in the living room. This piece was installed due to the skill of the younger son Thomas. His performance filled the living room with mesmerizing melodies. As his skills gained recognition, Thomas became a local sensation celebrated throughout the region for his exceptional artistic abilities. Join us as we delve into the heart of this historic gem to uncover its hidden treasures and the captivating tales of those who once called it home. Welcome back everybody to the Bros of DK. I'm Leslie and today I got another special episode from you coming from the United States. We are still in the state of Georgia and today we got a traditional American farmhouse to show you. This place has been abandoned since 2009 but unfortunately not much of the people is known from this place. There's not much story and inside we also didn't find much yet but together of course we're gonna go through this place and see if we can find anything that's of interest that can lead us to the story of these people and why they left it behind in 2009. 12 years of abandonment now. It's already showing and I'm gonna show you today how this place look like, looks like. So let's go. Everything has already overgrown over the years that it got abandoned. And you can definitely see from the style of building, the woodwork on the side and everything and how the pillars look over there. It's definitely an American place and the style comes back everywhere. Later on in the video, I'm also gonna show you the front of the place, but you have to wait for that one. First, we're gonna go venture through this place and see what's on the inside. Let me show you a few things here on the outside. I think this over here used to be a well. Yes, most definitely. So can we look in there? It's pretty dark. Okay, but this was a well where the former owners could get water from to use inside of the household. I love the style of these wooden pillars that we have over here, supporting the roof above of this little cozy patio that we have here in front of us. There are even still some pillars laying on the floor. Okay, some glass bottles, some other things outside, but not much of interest. So let's hop inside and let me show you what this place looks like. It's, to my opinion, it's definitely a true time capsule and we're gonna have a blast in there for sure. So let's waste no more time. Let's open these doors and let's reveal this place. Little latch here, the fly window. And then we have the main door that will lead us inside of their household. Welcome everybody to this place. Let's close the doorway behind us and let's start exploring this gem. Okay, I'm gonna lock it up. I don't want anybody coming in here while we are exploring. 
But the first room that we've entered into is actually the dining area. And looking at the setup from the table, we see six chairs around there. So most likely a family of four to six would have lived in this place. Not more, maybe also not less. A wonderful room we have entered into. Wow, this is typical American style. And that's actually why I love to explore around the world and in all these different countries. Because to me, every single country has their own interest and their own style of building. And the residential places in these countries truly show it. There's also that, there's some antique furniture left behind here in the corner. You got this mirror with drawer desk combination. Lovely carvings at the top. Hello everybody. What's this inside of here? You got some wool. Wow. Some ribbons and stuff like that. Nothing of much interest. And then here right next to the door, you can actually see a very unique piece of this house, a rocking chair. This is something that comes a lot back in the United States. In Europe, I ever only saw one rocking chair and that was in the country of Portugal, I believe in an abandoned palace. Yes, I will link it up here so you can see that video as well. But rocking chairs seem to be very common in the United States. Almost every single place I've explored so far in this country has at least one rocking chair on the porch or inside of the house. A very interesting piece of furniture to me because I'm not very used to it to see this in, the United, uh, in Europe. And here in the United States is so common. It's actually a very nice piece of furniture as well. You can relax in there. I was sitting in one like a few days ago, reading a book. It was quite lovely. Wonderful setup dining table. The cloth still on top of there. Even the plants are still untouched. These are nevertheless fake plants, but you can see they're still very lovely. <sighs> This house actually shows minor signs of decay. I've been in places that have been abandoned for less than this one and they are totally collapsing. But this one with some renovation is still livable. There's some junk left behind from the former owners. I'm saying junk over here, but it's actually not junk. Let me see what kind of device that we're dealing with. Some sort of motor to spin something around, probably for a barbecue. And then you can look like uh, grill a turkey or another piece of meat with this one and slowly sp spins it around. I think this is an air conditioning that we have here to the side. Okay, very interesting. What do we have over here? This seems to be a calendar. Oh yeah, this is from the year 2008. African-American art, as you can see. Very interesting. I don't know if these people uh, were African-American or not. Hmm. Because in the region in, of Georgia that we are in right now, 80% of the people are African-American. Oh, I find a calendar of 2011 over here. I thought this place was abandoned in 2009. Okay, that's interesting. So might also be abandoned from 2011 onwards. Okay. Some things up here. A display cabinet with a few glasses still in there. I love these kind of jars. They use it to make their own food and conserve it over time. It's a very common thing to do back in the day. And also we have a couch standing here in the middle of the dining area. There are even some shoes still left on there. These are some ladies' shoes. Interesting stuff. Okay, oh, we got also a fireplace behind here. But it's completely boarded up. You can see there's sort of some sort of a plate in front of it and they close the hole that goes into the chimney. And I see from the imprint in the wall here that also a painting of some sort must have hanged here at one point, but it's now been taken out. Here behind the dining area, we have the kitchen area, but also still everything left in there. As you can see, a wonderful green little display cabinet. Wow. All their bug spray and everything 
probably still in here. Let's see if there's still left, something left in the cabinets. No. Maybe down below here. Mm, no. Okay. Oh, look at this pot of jam that we have standing here. This is what I told you about the jars of food that the people used to make back in the day. And over here we see one still completely full, probably from peaches or something else that they had on the farm. This seems to be closed. And all the dishes are also still standing here. As you can see, a pan, a pot, Even there, in the drying rack is a pan left behind. They probably washed it and afterwards they left it in here, never to put it, to the, put it away into a cabinet. Even the towel to dry, the dish is still here. Wow. The utensils to work with in the kitchen. <laughs> Definitely religious people as well. We got a little kitchen prayer hanging here on the wall the verse that were probably said when they were cooking food. The oven down below is also very nice. Fridge to the side. And then back here, I believe we have their laundry area slash bathroom all combined into one. This was their bathtub slash, to, uh, slash shower with even their shampoos still left in the corner over there. And a little towel still hanging here. Wow. Fascinating already. And here we see another calendar. This one is from the year 2009. So that's why I supposed that this place was abandoned since 2009. See some signs of decay. Here on the ceiling, where they tried to patch it up. And this cabinet is also full of blankets, of towels and stuff like that. And then we find ourselves back in the dining area. I think this is one of the nicest places of a house where the family came together and had dinner. Dinner is something that brings people together. And I'm a big fan of good food, so probably a lot of people are. But uh, I love these places inside of a house. And lots of people also ask me, like, why do you love abandoned houses so much? Because lots of people don't understand that they like castles, they like grand uh, amusement parks and stuff like that. But I'm like, a house shows the true value of a people, shows how people lived, people sp uh, spent their private time in the house, they decorate it in their own taste, and I love to see that. And houses also hold stories, and those are some of the reasons why I love abandoned houses so much. And we're gonna see it again with the room in front of us. When you enter into a room like this, looking at it, you can immediately feel the atmosphere of the family. Just the beauty in this room, with the piano standing here to the left. Probably somebody, sometime, playing a verse or playing some music on there. People sitting on a couch, enjoying it, having a nice conversation. And that's what I love about abandoned houses. They have character, they have meaning, and a factory or an amusement park is something else to me. Also still cool, but houses are something else. <laughs> I'm gonna stop rambling about houses, I, I just love them and you probably do as well if you're watching my videos. We have a few more rocking chairs as well in this room. And this is actually a very unique one, as you can see. It's completely a Pearl Street in uh, yellow leather. It's a very nice one and yeah, I've never seen a rocking chair like that before. Wow. Also wood carvings in there. Got a little stand behind it to put some ornaments on. The wallpaper is, however, slowly peeling off, but that can be replaced, of course. This home could be, could be made into something once more, if people care about it. Some fake flowers above the piano. Lovely fake flowers. And then we got a York piano. 
wonderful piece here in the corner of the room. Probably hundreds of songs have been played on this one. You can see that the seat down below has been heavily used over the years. You can still see them sitting here in front of the piano, playing a verse. Let's see if it still works. Some, oh yes, yes, of course it still works. The York Waver Piano Company. York PA, is that Pennsylvania? I'm not sure. I think we can even open this up and see the internal mechanism of the piano itself. Okay, I'm gonna rest this on my head. You can see it still functions. Wow, that's pretty interesting. Let's close this beauty up. Some keys have already fallen off over the years, but it's still in like a pristine condition. A wonderful piece, everybody. I just love it. Another rocking chair here to the side. Oh, I can still see the people sitting on there, rocking away into the evening, probably reading a nice book or something like that. This house, I was also guessing the age of it, but I think it must be at least a hundred years old. It's definitely one of those old American style houses. We have a lovely couch here in front of us. Beautiful design on there. Wow. What a piece. I feel bad in the side of the corner, side of the room. We got multiple beds actually inside of this room. So that tells me that maybe somebody at the last time of their life slept over here and didn't want to use the upstairs anymore because they could probably got old and they couldn't get up the stairs anymore back in that time. Is this another rocking chair? Oh yes, it is. Wow, we got another one standing over here, a smaller one. And then they had a fireplace right in front of us here. Wow, beautiful piece again. Spiderwebs already covering it. The wallpaper peeling off and we can see a rip in the walls over here. That's not a good sign for the home. Yeah, the drip is ripped all the way through. A crack going from the ceiling all the way down. That's very expensive to repair. The plants and the vegetation is already growing inside of this home, taking it back over. Nature always does its job, taking back these places. Oh, and over here on the field bed, we got like this box where uh, like painting equipment is inside. You can see some paints still in there, some brushes. So maybe somebody in the house love painting. Okay. And these are some keys that come f came from the piano. <laughs> Very interesting. One last overview of this room before we go further. From this lovely sitting area, living room, we're gonna go further into the house and see the other rooms, what it has to hold more for us. And here we come into the hallway of the place where the guests would be let in, where the people came inside of the house. You can see that they tried to have boarded up at some point, or maybe the window broke behind it. They tried to fix that up in some way because this is not a window that somebody could get into the house from, it's very small. But actually, the front door is just open. Later on, we can go onto the porch and show you everything. I'm gonna just do it right now. I'm gonna go give you a full perspective of the house later. But here you can see the porch of the place where people could sit outside and enjoy themselves in the evening. Wow, fascinating. Let's go back inside. Let's close this front door. Use some gardening equipment 
the front here. Now with this little knob, you can just close it like that. It doesn't want to close anymore. Okay, there we go. <laughs> and then we have the hallway with the staircase leading upstairs behind us. And even the chair here in the middle of the hallway. Okay. They used to have wallpaper on the underside of the stairway. But that has completely fallen off over the years that it was abandoned. And there you can see as well here in the hallway, there is some equipment for renovations. So they might have considered renovating this place at some point, but they never got to it. And now probably money problems or something else, maybe a family dispute. And now it's just withering away. Let's go here to the right now. The last room on the downstairs before we go to the upstairs floors. Okay. And we just entered inside of a lovely bedroom. I can see two beds in here. So maybe we can see, and they all both have one pillow. So probably two people slept in this room. Those are some lovely beds, as you can see. Wow, blanket still on there, still made after all these years of abandonment. I just love to see it when everything is very pristine and people had respect for the abandoned location. Probably some explorers have been inside of here, but they le left it like, it like they should have left it, just in a pristine condition. The towel neatly still on the front of the bed, slowly falling apart. <laughs> the pillow underneath the blanket here. There's nothing in there anymore. Some more fake plants above here. To this side, we got another bed. Also still lovely made. Okay. Over to this side of the room, we have a drawer. Actually a pretty big drawer. And there are some things in there. A magazine, new easy, completely falling apart. This seems to be some sort of a map of somewhere. Okay, this is some sort of a road map. I'm not sure exactly what this is. Seems pretty old. Can place this back nicely. And up here we got some sort of a drawing. And it seems to be that this drawing was made by a child that most likely lived in this place. You can see some grass up here, a tree to the side, and then the sun in the background. That's wonderful, actually. And here to the corner of the room, we have a wonderful American vanity. Wow. A round mirror above it. And even the jewelry boxes of the lady that lived in this place are still in here. This was probably the store necklace, Leo glass, it says on there. See if there's anything still in the drawers. I see something down below here. Some Bugsbury. A lot of Bugsbury is scattered throughout this house. And here we got a newspaper lying on the floor. Wednesday the 19th, 2007. Wow. Wednesday the 19th, 2007. They also had a television here, standing in a room. They could watch some, tele some television late at night, before going to bed. A lovely Samsung television. Then also a fireplace used to be behind there, to heat up this lovely room. Spider webs above here. And this looks like a bird nest, so some sort of bird might have made his nest inside of the household. Wow. Beautiful curtains. And lots of windows have actually also broken in this place. And here again, we see another 
rocking chair, of course, left behind. Some beautiful upholstery on there as well. I never expected the places in the United States to be this beautiful. This, these places truly show the culture of the United States and how it has evolved over the years. And that's what I love to see in abandoned buildings. Wow. Just looking at the hallway, how it's constructed completely from wood. It's so different from the European Union. Okay, we got another like big batch of paint buckets over here. So this might have also been for the renovation that they were planning at some point. Unused paintbrushes and used ones right next to it. So probably halfway the renovation, they quit and never started again. The lovely stairway that's gonna lead us upstairs. Okay, let's grab there. Oh. I also really like that the whole house has been constructed from wood. Got a little library standing here in front of us in the hallway. A massive book that's now completely falling apart. Be careful, place it back nicely. And then some encyclopedias. Ritanica. Ritanica, it says over there. Let's see what we have in this one. Britain Junior, Capitals of the World, probably a history book, as you can see. Look how this woman is handling this child inside of the book. <laughs> She's literally dumping him into the river. A bat in the river of death, it says over here. Crazy. It's probably all about history and how we evolved as humankind. Okay, let's place this book back nicely into the library and let's move further on these upper floors. The countryside behind this house is also beautiful. At some point they also boarded this window up because probably it fell out or something like that and they didn't want any water to come inside of the place. As you can see, we have just ended up in a very large bedroom with one bed in the middle of it. And then a rocking chair right next to it over here. Completely falling apart, withering away. How many rocking chairs did we already see in this place? Probably like six or seven right now. <laughs> the sun is slowly setting in the background. This is the last place that I'm filming today. Got some lovely curtains hanging here. You can see the tree is already approaching the house, knocking on its windows, asking to come inside. Wow. There's not much more to see in this room, but the other one is still very interesting. But I first want to show you this room. Some curtains over here as well. Completely, f oh wow, if I rip on it, I rip a piece off. Oh my God, I shouldn't do that. Look at that, a rusty roof of this place. Fascinating. Okay, now let's go to the last room of this place. Maybe first look at the upstairs hallway. As you can see, there's not much in here. What's this? This looks like the underside of a bed. So maybe this might have also been a bathroom back in the day. As you can see, these are sort of mattresses that are hanging up here. I'm gonna look at this closer. Can you unfold this in any way? No, it doesn't seem to unfold. It's quite strange to have this up here. In the hallway. <laughs> Ping pong bed down there. Very interesting. Okay everybody get ready for the last bedroom of this place. Wow. And I really love this one because this actually gives me Swiss vibes. 
you've already seen the videos from Switzerland that I posted, of course. If not, check up here because I have a playlist of these five videos that I filmed in Switzerland. But here you can see it sort of resembles it from the wooden beds to the wooden vanity that we have there in the corner. Quite fascinating to see this style coming back all the way across the Atlantic Ocean. Got some drawers in here, maybe some paperwork. The International Bible, it says over here, the New International Bible. How to church crew. <laughs> of course, very religious people, of course, that lived in this place. They got some sort of a scroll here that they bound up with some, with some rope, as you can see. Hmm. And then we got this bedroom. So we already saw four beds in this place, or we saw four beds in this place. There's one more here. So four to six people might be a good number that left in this place. Old school, double style mattress. And we have a pillow lying here at the top. And this one also seems to be still made. Above the bed, we have this Washington DC like souvenir that they probably got when they went to Washington. We have one of the presidents hanging here on the wall above the bed. Just wonderful to see. And then right in front of the bed over here, we have this treasure chest. Let's see if there's anything still in there. Most of the time people store blankets, but this one seems to be Completely empty, unfortunately. A wonderful vanity. And I think I almost saw the same one in Switzerland. Probably they maybe got some furniture from that country. Wow. Some boxes for jewelry still in there. Some photo frames and some other things. We even got a fireplace in this room as well. And like I mostly say, back in the time, people had fireplaces in every single room because back then central heating wasn't invented yet when this house was built. They also didn't have radiators in these rooms, these rooms as you can see. So they had to light up the fireplace to be warm at night. Wow. And then we have this bed that's completely decayed to the side here. The mattress is slowly falling apart with the trousers of the person that lived in this room still on top of there we got another pirate chest or treasure chest here in the corner of the room that's unfortunately also empty what a room and what a place but we haven't seen the outside yet so let's go over there right now and let me show you that Okay, lovely farmhouse. Thank you very much. I loved this place actually. So let's now go outside and let me show you what's over there. Okay, I'm gonna close this door behind us. Open the fly screen. I close this beauty. I hope it stays like this forever. And I hope also maybe that someday somebody comes here and renovates this place. <laughs> the light switch even outside completely covered with spider webs. Let's have a look at the outside of this lovely place. Whew. Ah, here we have the chimney leading up to the top of the place. Wow, from the outside it's even more beautiful than the inside, as you can see. The porch that I was just on we have here in the front of the house. Man, I'm in love with this place. Absolutely. Wow. And here you can get the full perspective of this lovely farmhouse. Probably a 19th century farmhouse. 
Moreno, can I give you the camera? Because I want to thank my viewers. There you go, bro. Thank you to Moreno for holding the camera, of course. And I want to thank you all for watching this video. What a lovely place and I really enjoyed exploring this one. If you did so as well, if you loved the tour throughout this place, please like the video, subscribe down there and hit that bell notification button and also write me a nice comment in the comment section. With that all said, I want to thank you very, very much and I'll see you next time in another crazy adventure. Bye bye, I love you.